Hi guys, welcome back to part 5 of the Lost Crown of Ghost Hunting Adventure. Um, now, I've just been roaming around in some caves and I found an old smuggler's den. Um, and a name as well, uh, Gruel. Um, and if I remember rightly, there is a Gruel's Antiques, so maybe I should go to the antique shop and look for a link. What else do I have to do? I'll have a look when I go outside. What else do I have to do? Okay, find out about the ghosts in the cavern. Or oh, there's more ghosts. Uh, that's what I'm doing now. Who is Gruel? Does he have any living descendants? Um, curiosity shop or an antique shop? We know it's got an antique shop, and I think it's Gruel's Antiques, so that's sort of two in one. Um, not sure about the smuggled treasures, but maybe the crown was among them. I don't know. And explore the wider landscape. So I suppose... Where would I go to explore the wider landscape? I suppose... I haven't been past this uh, the smithy yet. So I can go past Celtic Corner and the old hotel, I suppose. But uh, yeah, let's go to the antiques first. Sounds like a plan, doesn't it? Which is this way. He's still searching there. I'll never find anything. Here we go, Gruel's Antiques. Is it open? Yes, yes it is. Let's go inside. a link to Spivey, the smuggler. Okay, it's Spivey and not Spivy then. Alright. Let's have a look. Okay, I can go two ways. Ah, what's this? Symbolic images or ancient graffiti? I have no idea. Right, that's the way out. Let's go. Let's go this way. Creepy. Uh, anything I can examine at all in any great detail. That's what I'm just looking out for. I don't think so. Let's let's keep going. Let's go this way. I can't see anything, nothing really stands out at the moment. Let's go this way. What's in, what's in that? It looks like a, a ship. Ah! Hi. What the hell is he doing? Hello! Mr. Brule, I presume? Yes, this is all very amusing, <laughs> but I'd like to ask you something. Look, could we forget the ragdoll for a second? I'm Jemima. <laughs> Hello, Jemima. Can I speak with Mr. Gruel? <laughs> Mr. Gruel, I really must insist that you. What in the fuck is going on in this entire town? Everybody's just completely mad. And it's pretty clear that this guy's cheese flew off his fucking cracker. Let's see. Oh, Jesus. Is there any point in asking I'm questions? I'm Nigel. Nigel Danvers. And you are... Yeah, alright. I'd love to learn more about the town's ghosts. Hmm, this seems like a largely pointless exercise, but let's continue, I suppose. Have you heard the legend of the three Anglo-Saxon crowns? I'll take that as a yes, because I can see there is something down there with three crowns on it. What do you know about the Saxton Cavalry? Ok, 
Okay. I'll have a look around, if you don't mind. Right, let's have a look at this thing. What is it? Is it a book? Three crowns. I must have that book. Okay, it is a book. I must have it. Is there anything else? No. Just Mr. Creepy Ragdoll Man. Alright, let's um <laughs> That was pretty cool. I suppose you have to wait until he's got the ragdoll up to his face and then you take it. I should probably get the fuck out of here before he realises. That is, if he knows exactly what's going on anyway. I should read it in private then. Okay. Is that the link I was looking for? I don't know. Let's have a look. Is this private enough, do you think? Might be. Who knows? Here we are. Ah, uh, let's open it. It's not going to open, is it? No. Last. The book is stuck fast. Oh, you're a poet and you just don't know it. <laughs> no. Um. Uh, okay. Keys. Key, 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 key. Does he have a key in there somewhere? I didn't see anything else to pick up. Hmm. Uh, let's have a look at the notebook again. Okay, tick that. That's a yes. He does have a lady descendant. He's a fucking mentalist. Uh, let's try and explore the wider landscape. So let's let's try and go to this uh, Celtic corner. And that's down. Station lane, that's the other way. Which is a right from here. Museum hasn't opened yet, I don't think, has it? Hmm. And he's still there. Let's just walk past him. I need to go past this area, I think. Uh, where is it? Oh, hang on. Bob Tawney. He, uh, he might be able to help me with the book. Let's get in there. Hello again. Hello, lad. What can I do for you? I have no idea. Yes! Open the book. Could you open this book for me? Oh. Lost the key, have you? Not exactly. I never had it. What are you doing? Uh, I see. Leave it with me. I'll see to it this afternoon. What? 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 Why don't you just come out and just say, I stole it from a guy who thinks he's a ragdoll called Jemima. This guy is too honest for his own good. I'll leave you to your work. See you again, lad. Okay, so I've left the book with him, right? Yes. Okay, let's get out of here. What's... Wh what the hmm. fuck's that? I wonder what, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that meant to be a cat. Fucking hell. Alright. Oh, where well, were it? We're Celtic Corner. Celtic Corner? It's worth a look. Okay. Alright, just go in then. Can I help at all? No, thanks. I'm just browsing. Browsing, eh? See anything you like? I'll let you know. Alright. Right, this is the cat then. Oh. Just don't walk again, that was absolutely awful. Let's have a chat, shall we? Could you help me? Certainly. Anything for you, Nigel. Ah, news travels fast. The arrival of a young man in Sexton would not escape me. I see. Well, I hope I live up to expectation. Oh, you've already managed that. 
Okay, there's somebody else to add to the creepy list. And he's acting like he only just found out. He knew it. He knew I was coming anyway. I know it. I'm Nigel, Nigel Danvers, and you are? I'm Rice. Thanks for asking. Rice bread. Is that Celtic or Welsh or something? Welsh. Well done. Not just a pretty face, you. Tell me about the photo competition. Sext and snappers? Yes. Can anyone take part? If you have a camera and a good eye. I'll give it my best shot. Any tips? Keep in mind that I see a lot of Sexton day by day. So try to snap something a bit more unusual. Unusual? Hmm. I can certainly manage that. Unusual like a ghost, by any chance? Know any local ghost stories? Oh, hundreds. Check the bookshelf, if you haven't already. I will. Is that your cat? Hi. Meet Mr. Tips. He knows a story or two. What do you know about Nanny Noah? Ha! Old Noah been at you, has she? Well, I wouldn't say that. She just seems... Distant. She's a good friend. But even I have to admit that she's away with the fairies, most of the time. Okay. He has a very strange accent. I'm trying to work out if it's like English, Welsh, Indian, Jamaican even. I don't know. Thanks for your time, Reese. No problem for you. Any time. <laughs> okay. Alright, he, he told me to, uh, to have a look at this, right? Have a look at the books. Let's have a look at the books then. Okay. They're all separate. Oh, these these aren't. But these are okay. Um, let's just go from left to right. Unknown Anglia. Okay. Three volumes. Hmm. How long has this gone for? It's not too long, I suppose, but there's more books. You know, what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, give you a, a little window to pause the video and read it yourself. I'm going to read this after I, I finish recording, I think, because um, it'll just take too long otherwise. So, there you go. There's pages three and four. And I think that's the end of the book. That's the end of this one. Let's go on to volume two. Okay, uh, volume three. All right, and um, we've got four books in the middle. Anglo-Saxon symbols. Right. Did I did I see a symbol? Um, like one of these on the rock in the fens. It was really complicated, so it might have been like family or something. I don't know. Okay, uh, let's go on to the next one. Is it the same? Okay, it's the same. These look different though. Yeah. And uh, that's the end of that. And no, nope, that is it. That is all of the books I can read. Um, yeah, I think I'll digest that after the video. Um, okay. What else has he got in here? He's got this crystal ball thing. Let's have a look at that. What? Was that say Mystic Morgan? 
I don't have a fucking clue what's going on there. Is that telling me my future or something? What have we got here? Some sort of cobra? A snake of some sort? Just a weird candle. Okay. Anything else? Got something over here. Ah, still snapping, eh? Oh, okay. So this is the Saxton Snappers competition thing. Um, I don't have any photos on me, do I? Have a sandwich. That's not right. Oh, come on! I've got to do something with this sandwich. No, let's, let's put in cat watch. That's not right. No, okay. I suppose once I've got a good photo of a ghost or something, I can put that in. Okay. Uh. A few posters up there. Okay, let's let's get out of here. Okay. Uh, what is this old something? Old magazines, is it? Yes. Okay, we have you magazine. Killing time. To go with you magazine, I think. Origin of species. Wow, there's going to be a lot of reading uh, after I finish recording, I think. Okay, cool. Killing time. Oh, haha, <laughs> very good, yes. I like what they did there. Plugging their own games. Dark Fall 3, I think that's out now. That was it. Alright, that's it. Okay, um... Cool. Uh, I got some sticks here. Let's have a little look. Build your own Bronze Age holiday home. Nine ninety nine. Buy one get one free. Okay. Completely pointless at this point, but I don't know. Maybe maybe it'd be useful at some point. Let's have a look at this. This looks like a message board. Your trees need you. Ah, you should have had Y E W. It would have been amazing. So, um, I, get, I can go up here, but I can't go left, so I can't go through the school yet. Let's go down this way. Ah, okay. So this, this road is getting me out of town. Let's keep going. Okay. There's the little lighthouse. Uh, let's keep going left. That's one of my tasks, isn't it? To go out outside the village. Go out of town into the countryside. And that seems to be what I'm doing. Ah, okay. It looks like this is the limit of how far I can go. At least at this point. Um, go back. Let's have a look at the lighthouse if possible. Well, I'll go this way. 1911. Okay. What's he doing? Oh, don't do this again. Hello. Oh, you're going mad. Nothing but the North Sea. Next stop, Norway. I know. You should know. Oh, what's going on?
Does that mean time's passed? Does that mean I can go into the museum now? Or... Well... Either the museum or... Maybe I can get my book back. Maybe he's done that. Let's go! Let's see what's changed. Get in here. Hello again. Ah, young Mr. Danvers. You'll be wanting your book. Yes. Did you open it? Of course. Wouldn't be much of a handyman if I hadn't. You didn't uh, read it, did you? Nope. Reading's not my strong point. You can't read? Reading's not the only skill, you know. Oh, um, quite. Well, that was easy. Um, let's go out of here. And then let's, uh, let's give it a read. I should go somewhere private to study the book. Yeah. Nope, oh, it's fading out. Where am I going? The inn? No, not the inn, the cottage. Okay, William Agar Agar's Journal, Agar House, Raven Lane, Northfield, Anglia. We have three crowns. Three crowns. A link to the legend. And um, a serpent who's eating its own tail. Isn't that doesn't that symbolise infinity or something? A serpent or dragon guarding a treasure. Agar, Agar. Hmm, a name to look out for. Eager House, Raven Lane, Northfield. A possible lead. Now for the rest of the book. Alright. It's written in a sort of poem form. The tracks, the fairies. Perhaps this Eager character lived along the train line. A possible lead. Maybe. Covered her mouth, covered his eyes. Upon her brow, a pask flower was placed. Wasn't that? Uh, that was what the other ghost was talking about. A pask flower. Something like Hader. No, Ager. Right. That makes a little bit more sense now. So the woman in the cave, you came down in the beam of light. That's Emily? And I guess this guy killed her. So, hold on. Let's have a look. Eager House, William Raven Lane. Eager. Northfield, Anglia. Okay. It said maybe he lives down the tracks. Right? The tracks. The fens. Perhaps this Eager character lived along the train line. I should investigate. Okay, uh, that's my next move then, I suppose. I, um, I'm going back to the, the train line. I presume that means Sedgemarsh train line, so I have to go through the fence again. Um, let's save that for video six, shall we?